good morning everyone happy happy monday this week this monday marks the final week i have of summer break because next week we start up in school and i'm excited so last night was a rough night for me because my youngest decided to climb into bed with us and it was kind of crazy Oh, I gotta make this clip fast because it's going to die. Um, and then I had to be up at 6.30 this morning and I just had a hard time sleeping. And um, because my clinical supervisor, she gave me a call at 7 o'clock this morning. We talked. Tentatively, we have scheduled for September 6th. My first observation with her and I need to make sure that I get a lesson plan written and submitted to her by email um, about three days um, minimum of 24 hours beforehand and then she'll come in I found out that she has another job and so like as a teacher still and so she um, all of her observations are gonna be in the morning this entire time so anything in the afternoons so like that, she won't be seeing. But she said that it doesn't really matter that she's watching like me teach the same subject. It's not really what I'm teaching, but it's the interaction that I have with the students that she wants to see. And that's what she's trying to check. So, and I told her about kind of my background. She's like, so you've had a lot of experience. I'm like, yeah. Um, grabbing some eggs. And then I also found out that another student, another uh, person from WGU is going to be student teaching at Heritage as well. So there's two of us from WGU at Heritage this time, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to end this clip so I can charge the battery because... It's lash day, so you guys might as well come with me for lash day. See my before and after of my lashes, because they, they're not too bad. Um, they are getting a little on the thin side, so I'm going to go ahead and get those taken care of so that they're good to go for this week, because I have professional development this week. I'm meeting the teacher tomorrow, hopefully the principal of the middle school tomorrow whole bunch of fun things so i'm gonna let you guys go um and i will check back in with you guys in a bit bye okay you guys i have to get my lashes done lashes did hopefully this time i don't miss the turn so i used to go to like a studio type place to get it done but now what's that here now I go to the lady's house to get it done. Um, which is a whole lot closer to me, but I forget to turn. So it makes it so it's not necessarily a whole lot closer. that there's another person doing student teaching at the elementary school that I'm gonna be at from my school and I'm curious to see if I could meet them because that means that there's somebody going to the same school which I knew was totally possible because I mean my next door neighbor is going to the same school as me Um, and I'm 
wondering, I don't want to say that I like opened the door at Heritage for people from our school to do student teaching because for all I know, other people might have gone there before. But I do know that I had to tell my the principal there how to um, contact the person to fully accept them into the student teaching. So, and I don't even know if, because I had to explain a lot to the principal about like the school and stuff like that. So I think I was the first person to do observations. I don't think the person who is doing their student teaching there did the observations there. So we shall see. And I'm, I guess I'm excited to like meet them. We have new lights here in town. Interesting. But I'm gonna let you go because I have to pay attention to I turn at the right spot here. So I will talk to you when I get there, show you my lashes so that you guys can see the after of the lashes. Okay. So it's lash day. I'm gonna show you them. So here they are. Up close. This is before like there's definitely bald spot right there. I tried my best to hide it. Um and there's a few that are like all over the place. But it's been three weeks, you guys. Like, most people get them filled in every two weeks. I do it every three weeks to save money. And so it's expected that by the time I get my lashes done, there's gonna be bald spots. And they're gonna be looking a little, a little iffy. But in general, they look actually really good for three weeks. And they just started looking like this a few days ago. Like, starting to look a little, mm. um, I'm excited to get them done today because I meet the teacher and the principal and everyone like that at the middle school tomorrow and so I'll just get a fresh pair of lashes for the start of a new for the start of the school year but I'm gonna go ahead and head in and then I'm gonna pick up groceries after this but I'll show you the after of my lashes again I've done this in other videos but it's always just fun to see the before and after so I'll talk to you guys later and we're done with them so here's a close-up again Definitely, you tell a difference than what they were before. So, those are my lashes. I'm gonna go get our groceries and I'll check back in with you guys later. Okay, so I'm back home from getting my lashes done, picked up the groceries. I got an, um, an Amazon package. I'm not gonna put this in the haul because I already showed one package of them in the haul, so we'll show you guys. I just got more of those discs for my um, writing strategy book and my reading strategies book. I only need one from each package. So I'm about to go ahead and put those on and then I will show you guys the official, official finished product of both of the books. So right now, like this is my writing strategies book and you can see it needs one more and then it'll be done. So, and the same thing for my reading. I'll show you guys as soon as I'm done. Give me a sec. Good morning, everyone. So today is Tuesday. I am starting to get ready. I look at my hand like there's a watch on there, but there's not. There's one really bad tan line on there. Um, but I'm getting ready right now to go to the middle school to meet, hopefully meet the principal this time, um, but definitely meet the teacher that I'm gonna be working with um, over the next eight weeks and talk with her about different routines, things that she's expecting of me, um, how she wants me to lesson plan, what kind of lessons I'm planning, like what does the class look like, kind of a thing. And not just like physical room, but like it's a resource room, so I don't know if she's planning, like she does actual lesson plans for each of the individual students or if she um, supports them by helping them with like homework and stuff like that, like working on tasks that other teachers are giving them. So those kind of questions, so I can figure out exactly how my day is going to look, figure out like the class schedule kind of a thing, um, all that jazz. And then tomorrow is professional development and then it's back to school night. So I'm really looking forward to this. I'm just getting ready. I just made a loaf of banana bread. It's in the oven. Done? Yeah, I'm done getting dressed. So I put my watch on, get myself ready. Here's my video bomber. Say hi, Shane. Hi. So let's do this. Hey everyone, I am on my way. I'm nervous again, I shouldn't be nervous. 
Um, but I am. Uh, this is going to be my second attempt to meet either the principal or the vice principal of the middle school. And I am going to meet with the teacher of the middle school, um, my host teacher. So, here I go. So I'm, I'm excited and nervous because kind of what I want to get from each of the people. So, from either the vice principal or the principal, I just want to know like contract hours. I want to know their expectations of me while I'm in the school. Uh, I want to just, I want to be the best student teacher I can be and I want to be, I want to feel as though I am part of the staff there and I want to be kind of held, not kind of, I do want to be held to the standards of the staff. Now I understand that I'm still learning and stuff like that, um, but I feel like the best way for me to learn and I'm kind of, I feel like I'm ready for this, I just want to be held kind of at that standard. And because if I am held to a lower standard during this next 16 weeks, and then next year when I actually get a job, then it'll feel a whole lot more stressful, I think, because people kind of quote took it easy on me while I was a student teacher. And I don't want that. I want to learn as much as humanly possible during this time. So, um, I also want them to come in and observe me maybe once or twice if at all possible during my eight weeks of being there and that could be just like one come in one day and another come in another day because I want to get feedback from them. They're the administration of the school and I want to get feedback from them. And then just if they have any questions for me, I didn't bring a resume, I probably should have but I didn't feel like I really needed to. Um, so like if they have any questions for me, um, any questions like at all, like anything that they want to know about me, stuff like that, then I'm more than willing to answer. I also want to know if there's any like school-wide incentives that I need to be aware of. Um, And then for the teacher, I just want, I need to know the schedule, what that's going to look like, what, how she runs her class, so like her procedures, the routines, how she lesson plans, what she expects of me as well. Um, I would like to get to know kind of like the schedule of when I'll be taking things over and stuff like that. I didn't wear any earrings, you guys. This is kind of shaky, sorry. Um, and I just want to get to know her as much as possible. And so I'm kind of winging it. I don't have anything like written down or anything like that of like the questions that I'm gonna ask. Like I said, I'm kind of winging it. I just want to get to know them. I want to get to know the school. I want to get to know the procedures. I want to just get to know as much as I possibly can. Um, and I think it'll also help when I go into professional development tomorrow, which I don't know what kind of professional development is going to be tomorrow, but I'll be sure to be taking notes and stuff like that. And I'm just, you guys, I'm just excited. Like I said, I'm nervous. Like I would be lying if I say that I am not nervous because I am for sure nervous. But I'm also just like really excited to start this new new phase in the journey of school um I mean it's my last term like I was talking to my husband last night you guys and it's like I've been playing pool all summer but as I'm getting nearer and nearer like I am nervous and like I said I'm excited but I am definitely nervous and like it's just I don't know it's all crazy it's a big deal doing student teaching instructions on the wrong thing. Well then. Cancel that. We'll see if I remember how to get there. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, I'm done. You guys, I feel so special and cool right now because I got myself a key. Um, it is a key to the workroom, so it's not like Super cool and super special, but it's a key. I also got a like 
folder with a bunch of information that I am going to go over. Um, like I said, there is professional development tomorrow, so I'm going to meet the teacher in her classroom and then go down together and bring water out because I am thirsty. Um, we were talking, kind of, I learned that the way that they do special ed here, it's not necessarily a resource room, it is actually like special ed students um, that are not, so it's not inclusion um, because these are like the special ed students that are in these classes and I'll be teaching the higher level special ed students language arts. So I'm not going to be doing any math, science, social studies, any of that here. It's all going to be language arts. Um, which I'm actually really excited about because that's going to kind of get me going and get me ready for going straight into like the language arts writing portion of the elementary school that I'm going to get like right into. So, and I'm probably going to start taking over like the first class first first and second class and it's eighth grade and seventh grade so I'm really excited um, I'm just really excited I'm debating right now going to the elementary school and seeing if the teachers or even the principal are there just to say hi again because you know I want to say hi I'm like that um, yeah, just go say hi to them. I am so excited. Like, I am so excited. So I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to go somewhere, either home or, or yeah, to, to the elementary school. Um, and I'll talk with you guys later. Bye. Hey, everyone. Let me send a quick text. I did end up going to the elementary school, which is good because I ended up talking to the teacher. She does not, unfortunately, she doesn't want me to really come to back to school night next Tuesday. So I won't be coming to that, I'll respect that. Um, just because there might be parents who are trying to share like, personal things about their students with her. And she doesn't want to make that awkward for them, which I understand. So I'm not going to go to that. Um, I still am planning on going to back to school night for the middle school. I just won't go to this elementary school one. Um, but I went in and they were actually having some professional development meetings and so I just stayed for them. Uh, I talked to the principal, I was like, here's the teacher. He's like, go for it. And like, you guys, I love this school, this elementary school. I'm talking to them um, and the principal, and he comes in as I'm talking to just the teacher after the professional development. Um, he goes, you guys are going to be an awesome team, and, like, it's really cool. And I found out that the other student from WGU, I think, is going to be in, like, first grade doing pursuit teaching. I don't know if she's going to be there for the whole 12 weeks or so, so I don't know if I'm ever actually going to meet her or whatnot. But, yeah, so I'm just really excited. And it was just really good see them again and that was the last time I'm gonna see them until October because it's just gonna be crazy which is good um, that I went in today because starting tomorrow it just it's gonna be crazy and I kind of wanted to just see them one more time before I go in make sure everything still not that teachers or anything like that would have changed but like just see you know talk to them make sure everything's still good um, that we're on, all on the same page with everything. So it was good that I went in there. So now I'm gonna head home. My husband texted me like right as I was leaving the building that like the kids are going crazy. So I'm gonna head out. Um, so yeah, I will, this will probably be the only, the last clip for the day. Um, tomorrow I will be going to professional development at the middle school. I don't know, cause I guess, there's professional development 
the elementary school as well, and I don't know because all of the elementary schools are going to the same one. Like, I don't know what's going on. But I was told by the teacher to meet her in her classroom tomorrow, so I'm gonna try to be there closer to 7.30 tomorrow morning and just be ready to go. This is one reason why I absolutely love hydroflask. My water bottle is hot to do the touch. It's hot. It's been sitting in the sun in my car. Just took a drink. Still ice cold, baby. It's awesome. So, as I was saying, heading home. Last clip of the day. Um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow, probably on my way to professional development. I don't know if I'm actually going to put my camera in. I have not told that I'm going to, like any of my host teachers or anything that I do YouTube or anything like that. I don't know, like, it's one of those, I'm not ashamed of it, but I also don't want uh, to draw that kind of attention right now, kind of a thing. So, I probably won't be bringing, because it's also, like I said, it's not my classroom. It's not my space. It's I've been invited into their space, and so I don't want to take all of you guys with me into their space. I hope that makes sense. Um, but like I said, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. So see you later. Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday. Not Thursday. Oh my goodness, I'm a day ahead. It is Wednesday. August 15th, give me a second, I'm gonna call my husband because I forgot to do something on the 11th and I've forgotten to do it every day since, so give me a hot sec here. Um, I forgot on the 11th to give Lily her heartworm medication. Can you give her that? So just give her one. Alright, thanks. Okay, bye. Okay. Now that I got that taken care of. So I am on my way to professional development and I'm really excited about it. Um... I ended up, like I heard yesterday, I ended up going to some of the elementary school's professional development because I wanted to just kind of say hi, check in with them because that was going to be the last time I could really check in with them until October when I go in for the actual student teaching because starting today I'm pretty much just going to be at the middle school for the next um, pretty much nine weeks because I'm starting today. So, I'm... Also, really hungry because I didn't eat. So I don't want to make anything this early in the morning. So I'm gonna be completely unhealthy, and I'm gonna go get myself some breakfast from McDonald's. Um, and so if I ever want to do something like this, I have to leave early because I have to go in the complete opposite direction, which is why it's not gonna happen like pretty much ever, really. Um, Especially since today I have to be there by 8 o'clock. It's now 7. Um, but on normal days, I would have to be there by 7.30 because those are contract hours. So I would be there for contract hours. So yeah, I'm gonna get some breakfast and then I'm gonna head off to professional development. I don't know what all I'm going to film today. Um, I do also have a date with my husband today, so I'm really excited about that. Um, we have a friend who's gonna watch our boys and we're gonna go on a date. We're gonna go have lunch, like a very late lunch because my professional development doesn't end until 2.30. So we're gonna have a late lunch late lunch, early dinner type thing, and and then um, we're 
gonna go school shopping for the boys. I have to also message my husband to print off a list or find the school list today. So we're gonna do that. And that's pretty much it. That's everything we're gonna do. So I will get back with you guys later, probably when I get there. Just check in super fast. Um, I will vlog whatever I can, but like I said yesterday, I don't necessarily want people to like, if, I don't want to draw attention to myself by this vlogging. Um, and if it, if it was my own classroom, that would be different. I could vlog inside the classroom, but it's not. It's me going into other people's space, and so I don't want to bring everyone into their space, if that makes sense. So like I said, I will talk to you guys later. I will vlog when I can. I'll tell you guys what's going on. I'll tell you guys everything that I learned later today and stuff like that. So I will let you guys go. Thank you guys everyone for watching and I will see you in a bit. Bye. So yeah, I'm really early. It is now almost 7.20. Don't I have to be here till eight. <laughs> This would be a good time to get here in general, probably. Um, maybe even a little bit earlier in general. I don't know. It just feels good that I am here before contract hours. So I'm kind of timing everything, figuring it all out. So I'm going to go head in. I don't know if the teacher's there, so I might just be waiting outside the classroom for a while. Or maybe I can go into the office for them to unlock the door. I don't know. But I'll figure it out. So I will check in with you guys in a bit. Okay. It's hot in my car, you guys. It's hot. But I did it. I got through my first actual day of backing up. You should be used to me just backing up because that's like how I always start my my clips for some reason when I'm in the car. Backing up to get out. There's no cars right here. Um, my first day of professional development. Like a full day of back to school professional development. My first full day of professional development for many, many, many years to come. Um, it wasn't too bad. Like, some of the things, sorry, I'm fixing a bra strap that slipped. Um, some things were not relevant to me, but I expected that to happen because I am um, just the student teacher. And so, like, when they were part of the day, they were um, starting to develop their Canvas um, websites for their class. Um, I couldn't do that because I'm a student teacher, so I kind of was just watching and observing. Um, part of the day, for like 30 minutes, they were going over their goals from last year as teachers and setting new goals for this year as teachers. Like, and this wasn't like like on paper. Like these were like official goals that like get sent to like the administration, kind of a thing. Um, so I kind of those are kind of personal things for them. So I kind of sat back. Um, but today we were mostly we were talking about, um, so I can't even remember all the terms of things. So literacy and how like a mathematician would read and to not, to teach students how to be mathematicians in math, to teach students how to be, um, read like a scientist in science. Uh, teach students how to read like a historian. How would historians read? What would they question things? What would they do? So those kind of things was like the first half of the day or the first bit and then we did like rotations where we worked on some first aid skills, um, fire um, skills, which we got to play with a fire extinguisher. Um, one of the science teachers, he is actually a certified EMT. And so we went outside and he like had this thing that he set fire to and so we gotta play with a fire extinguisher. Um, 
and then we did first aid just kind of a brief review I found it interesting that not every teacher is certified in CPR and I would think that that should happen like I just I never knew that you know there are some schools that weren't all certified in CPR because growing up I remember my teachers um, they would complain that they would have to go do their CPR recertification and stuff like that and I think that's just a really good skill to have as a teacher and I plan on keeping my CPR certification I am certified right now um, so I'm going I'm planning on keeping that certification going I'm not planning on letting it lapse um, but I just I, know, I found it interesting and then we talked about our RTI which is response to intervention and how that works in the school and instead of thinking of RTI as the pathway to get a student into special education think of it more as this is what we promise every student on how we are going to help them this is what we promise um, if some students don't get it then these are the interventions we're going to have what extra things we're going to do to help them and if they're still not getting it these are the special education services so more like all some one kind of a thing I hope that makes sense so we talked about that and how the schools going into more of a trying to really focus on the RTI um, and getting that intervention when the students need it and helping students actually understand curriculum and doing the best that they can with that so that was pretty much professional development day um, and it just was me sitting and listening <laughs> For a long time I liked it though you guys like and maybe one day my stance will change on professional development it would have been better if there were softer chairs we were literally sitting in like wooden chairs all day long and that's not cool um, but it was good and I really did enjoy it um, so I'm gonna go home and I don't know if this is gonna be my only clip today the last clip of the day or if I'll bring you along semi on my date with my husband. I'm not sure. But I'm gonna go home and we're shipping our kids off to a friend's house for a few hours. My husband and I are gonna go out to eat and go back to school shopping for the kiddos. And that's gonna be our date um, today. So that's what I'm off to do. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Afternoon, actually I am still in the outfit I was wearing yesterday about to make the kids lunch take a shower and start getting ready for the day um, I had fun with my cricket today I made stickers and I was really really happy with myself it only took like four tries to get it to what I needed it to be I'm gonna show you the stickers that I made but What's that? What's that? Hi. can you go tell the boys to talk to Cecily in your guys bedroom okay. So here are the stickers that I made. I'm really proud of them, you guys. They're super basic right now, but it got the shape kind of that I want with them. So um, here's the topic or the periods that I'm going to be teaching. So there's eighth grade language arts, seventh grade language arts, seventh grade language arts, seventh grade language arts, eighth grade language arts, hero time, which is like a study period, resource time, and then the planning period. And then I have the week number right there, and then the days of the week. And I even put like no school, and this week I'm getting observed, so it's the observation day. So I'm planning on printing these off like every Sunday, like every Sunday, and then putting in my book so that I can like be like a week ahead with it in a way. But I did the first three weeks right off just because I was trying to get the sizing down. But I did do that. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to go make my kiddos lunch. <sighs> then I'm going to take a shower, like I said. And it's back to school night for the middle school. So I'm going to get ready for that. And I'll be heading out of here around 2.30. So I have about or 2 o'clock. I'm actually going to head out of here at 2 o'clock. So I have like two hours to get everything done. I'm ready to go. So I'm going to let you guys go. And I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Hello, hello, everyone. I'm gonna go check the mail first. Um, 
but I am on my way to back to school night. I'm not going to show you my outfit. I'm wearing this dress with white leggings and black boots. It's pretty much this pattern the entire way down. I did take a shower. <laughs> um, however, I was too lazy to actually like do do my hair. So I semi blow dried it. And then I pinned it back a little bit. And then tomorrow before I go in to like the one meeting that I have at 10 o'clock, I might straighten it. Um, but yeah. I also grabbed a couple of things string cheese because back to school night is from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. And I don't know if they're gonna provide dinner. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I'm like, I didn't want to pack anything because I think it sounded good. <laughs> lazy to pack something right now. Um, so I just grabbed a couple of little things of string cheese and peanut butter and nuts and calling it good. Make that last. Just make it last. I'm checking the mail right now because I'm supposed to be getting some stuff from Old Navy. If my jean jacket's in there, I may or may not wear it. Which I highly doubt it's there because I doubt. I only know though. So. Give me a hot sec. Okay. Well, nothing from Old Navy, but I did. And I'll open it here just because I'm not. I decided I'm not really gonna do a haul for the clothing. Um, I'm gonna do the lookbook, but I figured I could show you guys. This. I think it might be it's the pants. So these are the jeggings that I got. Like these gray jeggings, and they have zippers. And I'm planning on wearing a teacher tee with it that I got. I'm just waiting for that to come in the mail. Um, so yeah, That's pretty much it. <laughs> um, I am going to head off to school now, and I'll let you guys know how it all went. Like I said, I'm not gonna bring the camera in. Um, I wish I necessarily know if I wish I could um, maybe by the end if I feel comfortable enough letting them know that I have a YouTube channel and ask if I could bring it in I might but yeah so I'm gonna let you guys go because I'm gonna just drive there really boring don't have much to talk about um, I was gonna work on my classroom library like labeling things and stuff like that today and but I got distracted with my Cricut uh, making stickers for my planner which I am super excited about because like I have it saved and all I have to do is just edit the text every week and print off a new one and cut them out and I have stickers from my planner instead of spending tons and tons of money on it this is good enough for me for now um, and as I continue working with my Cricut and continue figuring things out I might invest in better sticker paper I might um, learn how to better make the stickers, how to use different kinds of papers to fill it, like different things like that. Um, but for now, like I'm okay with what I've made and it works just fine. So I am off. I'm really hungry. I might eat one of my string pieces now because I forgot to eat lunch and I just realized I forgot to eat lunch. Maybe I should stop at the gas station on the way a little something up. Maybe I'll do that. Um, but I'm going to let you guys go. And I will talk to you guys after Meet the Teacher Night tonight. So, bye. Uh, that lighting's horrible. Uh, it's really bad. Okay. I am done with Back to School Night. I had so much fun, you guys. Honestly, I don't remember any of the kids' names. <laughs> um, is that here? But I had so much fun just being there, like for a back to school night to like just take that in, learn kind of what a back to school night for the middle school looks like, and pretty much knows what know what it looks like for an elementary school because. something blocking me. I don't know what's going on here. Oh. I can get out.
cooking was in a different spot. Anyway, it was really good. So in between when people came in to like meet the teacher and everything, we were just talking about um, the next few weeks, how that's gonna look. Um, lesson plan wise, when I'm gonna be taking over my first few classes, which I'm gonna be taking them my first two over the week of the 4th, September 4th. So I have next week kind of working with her and observing and then the following week more on the back end, like going through how to do the lesson plans, um, how to create the lessons from the modules, stuff like that, like learning that kind of stuff. And then that Tuesday, next Tuesday, you take over my first class. Wednesday, take over the next class. <laughs> Thursday is when I'll be observed. I might possibly. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to eat some food. I don't have my sunglasses. This lighting, it's like death. Okay. Um, I might even try to take over another class, kind of. I don't know. I want to have a few weeks of doing the whole schedule. Like where all the cater tots go. So I need to take them over kind of semi-quickly. So that I have time. Sorry, I'm just talking my mouthful. So that I have time to actually be teaching all day for a few weeks. The last time I'm there, I'm supposed to just go into other classes to observe, kind of a thing. So, gotta pretty much hit the ground running as best as I can. Um, and I'll help out, like, I'll do a few things, go to meetings, stuff like that, before I actually take over my first classes. And, like, I'll do different activities and stuff like that. I don't like doing that. But like full on class that will be happening. Like I said, the week of the fourth. So that's what happened today. I am going to go home. Probably going to rent the movie Pitch Perfect 3. And have a little date night with my husband go from there so I'm, just, I'm, kinda, I'm really just excited about everything um, tomorrow I do have another meeting that I need to be here at 934 I don't know how long that's going to be um, but I do have a meeting at 930 and then I have a faculty meeting next week but then I have more meetings on Tuesday and then back to school is Wednesday. So in my summer, it's done. And I'm okay with it. So I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm sure the people behind me are like, why is this lady going so slow? It's because I really don't know the speed limit on this road. Um, but I'm gonna let you guys go and I will talk to you guys probably tomorrow. You guys, tomorrow is the last Friday of before school starting. Who else is excited? I'm super excited. But I'm gonna let you guys go right now as soon as I stop the car. So I can turn off the camera. We'll see ya. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Um, oh, it's been a crazy week. It's been a good week, but it's been crazy. I am getting ready to go back to the school today so I can go to a um, behavioral specialist's meeting. So I'm about to um, get ready to go. I'm going to straighten my hair. Maybe throw on a little bit of makeup. I'm not too sure yet. <laughs> I'm tired today. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I'll check back in with you guys later. Oh, really quick, my outfit. So I decided to go more casual today and I'm just wearing so this is called a Lindsay from LuLaRoe 
and then this is just a like a maroon shirt with a black tank top underneath and I'll turn you guys around so you can kind of see everything else here so and then I have the black tank top and then these leggings which have owls on them I just decided to be more, a lot more casual today um, and so I decided to wear this so that's what I'm doing because there's not going to be students there and I want to be comfortable because everyone else has been comfortable whenever there's no students there and I just want to be comfortable too so that's what I'm doing that's what I'm doing so I will talk to you guys all later and we are off to meetings I just wanted to phone I actually wasn't planning on doing this but we just got a phone call which makes me super excited um my youngest son got into preschool you know starts in two weeks <laughs> less than two weeks so good of them to finally let me know that he got in um he's gonna go to not the which i knew that this was gonna happen if he got in he's not gonna be going to the school within the boundaries of us he's gonna go to the early childhood center which is fine because the person that i found to give him a ride um their child's also going to go to the early childhood center so it works out just fine so i will have to let her know that he did get in um he has an assessment that he has to take next tuesday and so now my husband has to take the day off of work for that um because i have meetings at the school so he will Um, have to drop me off at the school and then take take Shane to uh, his assessment for preschool so but it's all gonna work out I told my husband I was like you're gonna be like an empty nester in the morning <laughs> like it's kind of crazy that like all three of our kids are now officially like in school and this is just gonna happen um, yeah it's just preschool so it's only like a few hours but a few hours is a big deal and the next year it's going to be kindergarten which is another half day so he'll do half day for two years you guys <laughs> i can't wait and this is another reason why i'm, like, I'm not sure if I will, i'm going to have another kid because i'm getting to the point where like all my kids are in school and i don't have any kid other kids and i'm really looking forward to being out of the half day of school phase of life um Cole, my oldest, went to early childhood or um, preschool since he was three. So he went from, he went for two years. Yeah, two years of um, preschool. And then he did two years of kindergarten. So that was four years. All together and that was before any of my other kids got into school well after he was done with his second year of kindergarten my middle child Ira he went to preschool so that was half a day and then he went to kindergarten last year so that was half a day so now we're at you know six years of doing half days of school and now that both of them are in all day school Shane is going into preschool and the following year he's going to do kindergarten so that's another two years i will have been doing half day of schools for eight years in a row like i feel that's kind of crazy and i'm kind of excited to be out of that phase and it's not even going to happen until after next school year that I'm out of that phase. Which makes me think, like, well, do I want another kid? Do I want to go through all this again? Um, but that wouldn't be as bad because if we do have another kid, it'll probably just be one more. And it'll only be for two years, probably, that we would be doing that. So we will see. We will see. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to let you guys go. I, Like I said, I'm heading to school for a behavioral specialist meeting 
Um, I don't know how long it's gonna take. I'll kind of let you know how it went when after I'm done. And that's probably gonna actually be like the last clip for the week. Um, just because I feel like this is the one that's gonna get kind of long because of all the meetings and stuff that I've been going to this week. So I will let you guys go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I just, I know this isn't the last clip of the, the vlog, but thank you guys so much for watching if you've gotten this far. And thank you for just being here for my this journey. I'm really excited for next week when we I start the student teaching process and I will bring you guys along with that. I'll tell you guys all about it and how it's going and stuff like that. Um, the ups and downs, all that jazz. So I will talk to you guys probably in a few hours. So. So I've decided to add it into this week's vlog, if you get to the end of this, so hopefully you guys do, um, what's in my student teacher bag. It's the beginning of the year, it's organized, but really quickly, so I went to the meetings, it went great. Um, not much to report there. There was pretty much a meeting about, they hired somebody new that's gonna be like over the aides in the district, and they do it really weird, I feel, here where it's not a full-time job for aides and they can only have like 20 some odd hours and like so they can't stay a whole day like it's just it's weird um i don't really like it i don't think it kind of puts aides at a different level than teachers which yeah teachers got more education stuff like that but it's still i don't know i don't like it um but that's that that's just my my humble opinion, but I'm gonna show you my bag. You guys have seen the bag before. I got it on Amazon. It's this big old bag right here. And I'm gonna show you everything that's inside of it right now. Because this is what I'm planning and hopefully all that is going to be coming. And I'll have like a separate lunch bag that I'll carry in as well. Um, so we're gonna start with this back pocket right here and what's in there. So let me just pull things out and show you. Um. My phone is in the back pocket, so gotta have that. My wallet. Uh, a random lanyard that the assistant principal gave me that I'm gonna be giving back to him at the end of my student teaching, so I'm just keeping it there so it doesn't get lost. A lip color. And during the school day, my car keys will be in here as well. But right now, there's this lanyard that I don't know if I will be wearing yet or not. I probably will. Um, that has my WGU ID um, and a key to the workroom and the bathroom. So, that is everything that is in that pocket. I'm going to put all that back in. And next, we're going to do. The, the top. Not the top. We're gonna do the front pocket. Okay. Yeah. Open that up. Yeah. I have in here, this is just from the past few days, a bag of peanut butter MMs. Yeah. I have my yeah. laptop charger in here. Right here. And I have my um external hold hard drive. Also, my camera, which I'm using to record this, would go in the back pocket. So that is everything that is in that front pocket. And now we're gonna do the actual top pocket. Now, inside the t this middle section, there is, oh, sh there is an inside pocket, like a zipper pocket. There's two like pockets that you could put a cell phone. And then there's the like laptop compartment. I'm not gonna show you because it's like super heavy, but I will show you guys what's in here. So I have a makeup bag, but what I keep in the makeup bag are my flare pens and a couple pencils. So all of those are in there. I have my accordion folder. This is how I'm planning on taking all the papers that I need to grade home, if I need to grade anything at home, um, any copies that I need, that I have at home that I need for the next day, um, they'll be going in here as well. One of the labels fell out, that's okay. So I have my accordion folder. I have 
my water bottle. I have my teacher planner, which I absolutely am in love with. Like, keep that in there, please. Especially, I know I showed you guys before this week. But I'm just going to show you again because I'm like really happy about them. My stickers and my planner that I made myself. I'm really, eventually I'll get them looking way better, but I'm really proud of them. So that's my planner. I have just this folder. This is a folder that I got from the assistant principal when I went in to meet him. Um, it just has different things about the middle school and stuff like that in here. So, that. And I also have the seventh graders, and so I'm going to try to finish reading this this weekend. Um, they're going to start off the year reading a long walk to water. I'll jump to the honey. And so I'm going to read this. I'm going to read then I have my dongle for my laptop that I can actually plug in different things if I need to. That is everything like the main compartment. In the zipper compartment, I have only one thing, necessity, right ibuprofen. Now. So I have that. And then in the computer compartment of my bag, I have, of course, my laptop that I'll be bringing to it from school every day. Okay. And my mommy iPad. My iPad. And that is everything. I have a own iPad. That's everything in my bag. Um, hopefully this I will help me. Own iPad. Hopefully this will help keep me like really organized. In my bag, that is all I want to ever have. Yeah. In my bag. Even when I'm a teacher, like that is it. That's all I ever want to have inside this bag. It is heavy enough with yeah. just that in there. So that's my plans. That's like all I'm going to have. Um, and I'm going to leave that as the last clip for this week. So it was nice talking to you guys this week. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you're interested in subscribing to my channel, go ahead and click on the link down below. Or if you're interested in watching one of my previous videos, there's also a link for that. Thank you guys again so much, and I hope to see you here again next time. Bye.